Today I'm going to be introducing you to our generic content packs. Unify has been creating content since 2009. In that time, we have definitely learned a lot. We started creating content for manufacturers and then discovered there was a lack of content for the entire AEC. So now we build content for multiple firms. Our generic content packages you're about to see today came from numerous customer requests, both from customers that have been doing Revit for a long time and wanted some really good, high quality content, as well as customers on the small, medium business side of things as they wanted to quickly onboard within Revit. Our generic content packages really focus on what we call Unify quality. Our generic content can be used with your standards or our Unify standards. With our Unify standards, you also receive schedules for the generic content, so you can truly use it right out of the box. We have full-fledged documentation that discusses all of the features of our generic content packages, as well as how they're configured, so you're never left in the dark on how the parameters function within the family. When you purchase our generic content, we also provide you with updates for that purchase year, so you'll always have access to that latest and greatest of high quality Unify content. The first generic content package I want to introduce are Unify doors. These doors are able to open and close in 2D and 3D separately by an open percentage and angle. We have clearances built in along with adjustable rough openings. These frames are fully customizable and the geometry is fully protected from erroring. I'm going to show you some pretty impressive features when we get to the video demo that you can truly set these parameter values to be anything you want and the geometry will not break. We also have released our Unify Casework generic content package. This casework family, we've got cabinet corner drawers. We also have cabinet straights, and they're fully adjustable to be upper or lower in order to auto alternate. There is an adjustable and removable toe kick and apron, and there's a built-in starter shelf. We have also built in snap location geometry in order to be able to host doors and drawers. We've also included a door and drawer family for you that alternates between those two options and also involves a false panel. There are clearance areas built in, of course, and an adjustable hinge location. All right then, so without further ado, I'm gonna showcase this content for you with our video demo. All right, so our generic content comes through you through a channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can see the other channels we have, but Unify generic content's right there, and we're gonna focus on our generic doors for this presentation. I've gone ahead and put in a star. That star enables me to look at all of the content within my particular generic door premium channel. I have decided I wanna bring in the generic swinging door, so I've gone ahead and selected that to load it into Revit. This type catalog has come up, so I'm able to create a door configuration on whichever methods I decide. So I can choose between hollow metal and wood, double doors, left hand, right hand, door panel types. And I've gone ahead and I can now isolate the kind of door I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and hit load. So it's gonna be downloading it from the Unify Cloud and it's gonna be loading it directly into my Revit project. What it's gonna be doing next, it's also placing me into the place component command. So I can go ahead and immediately use this door family that I've loaded into Revit. All right, now that I've gone ahead and placed the door, Hitting escape twice takes me back to Unify, but I want to be able to now configure this door into a few different arrangements. Here are the open and 3D and plan view options that I discussed with you earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on those visibility parameters in order to use and adjust this type of content. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and turned that on, I already had my angle set for 90 degrees, but now I'm going to show you how we're able to customize those particular features. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my angle in 3D to be 270, and I'll change my angle in plan to be 45. My angle has adjusted within my door, but it does seem to look like that my door cannot go bigger than 90 degrees at this point in time. So I will go ahead and just adjust that to be a smaller angle so that you can see that it works. All right, so sure enough, there it adjusts. 
Scrolling down, I've got all of my type values there, and I want to show you that indeed this family cannot break. So if you find you need to customize these features to make it work better for you, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I change my height uh, as well as my width down to zero and hit apply. Doing this to any other normal door would certainly cause it to break, but doing this kind of content with a unified door, this family will not be able to break. And sure enough, it has squeezed itself down so that it is still in my project, it's still usable, but it has not errored out on me. We also want to have give you more than just the Revit content. So I've gone ahead and I'm now going to show everything within Unify to be able to really show you that you get more than the RFA information. Here's a type catalog for our generic barn doors. We also have one for this swinging door that you just saw. Here are all of the information there. So if you found that, yes, these are good, you know, starting information, but you want to customize this content, you're able to adjust all of these fields directly within Excel. This is the configuration information that I was discussing earlier today as well. So here's all of our door information. So if I scroll down, you can view the type parameters that are included and also be able to see all of the different constraints and exactly where they're measuring off of to be able to better suit these doors for your workflow. We also have a door feature 